Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft have started to roll out a new pair of Windows 11 preview builds to the beta channel insiders for this week. And the first is build 2261.885 and then build 2263.885. And those have been bumped up this week with the update KB5020054. Now this week, the beta channel actually gets three new features. So I thought we could take a quick look at those. And um, because these could be possible features that Microsoft does make available to the stable version of Windows 11 in the future. And um, the first two new features have been made available only in build 2263.885. And um, that is that um, you can now access your Windows Studio effects directly from the quick settings on the taskbar, as we can see from the screenshot provided. But this is only for devices that have a supported neural processing unit NPU. Now, um, Microsoft says that this makes it quick and easy to enable and configure camera effects like background blur, eye contact, and automatic framing, and audio effects like voice focus. And you can still access these effects in the settings pages according to Microsoft if that is something you'd like to do. So over and above being available in the settings pages are now available as um, the uh, Windows Studio effects in the quick settings on the taskbar. Now the second uh, new feature available in build 2263.885 are the new energy recommendations. And... Um, Microsoft say they are beginning to roll out the new energy recommendations under the settings menu system power and battery energy recommendations page and that's also in bold 22623 and um, you can apply these recommendations to improve the energy efficiency of your PC and reduce your carbon footprint according to Microsoft and then the third new feature and final new feature has actually been made available previously in a previous dev channel build to the Windows 11 Insiders. And this is now available in both beta channel builds this week, build 2261 and build 2263, where you get the new expanded view in widgets. Now, Microsoft mentions they are trying out some changes that will allow you to expand the size of the widgets board. And that basically means that your widgets now um, gets changed from a single panel, like it currently is... Um, and board like it currently is in the stable version to almost become a full screen widgets board um, in the beta channel for this week. Now if we take a closer look at the uh, screenshot in the top right hand corner, I don't know if you can see it properly in the video, but you can use the expand and collapse button, that button there, in the top right corner of the board next to the add widgets button to expand or collapse the size of your widgets board and then Microsoft mentions that um, the size of your board is remembered so if you prefer your widgets board to always show your show you more content like it currently is in this example and leave it expanded then that's how it will be the next time you open it and that's it for this week those are the three new features available to the beta channel insiders and um, as mentioned could possibly not guaranteed but could possibly roll out to an up and coming stable version and that's with those beta channel builds for this week 2261.885 and 2263.885 so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one